What's your favourite places around here that we go to, Ailey? The museum. The museum? Swimming. The park. The park? The faster you walk, the faster it goes. <laughs> and I like to feed the ducks. What park do you like going to? The one with the animals. The one with the animals? They don't, that's not in Bar Headless. Yeah, it is. It's really important that the children get that opportunity to share their views. It's a right that they're involved in decisions that affect them. So you need to be asking the children what they want. Oh, so that's upside down. Right, remember we were talking about our favourite places. Favourite places around here where we live. Did we like the park? We liked the park, didn't we? And the museum. Why don't we draw some? I think the swimming pool is, this says, sports centre. Do we think the swimming pool is in the sports centre? No. Yes, it is. Will we stick it up? No. Do you want to stick it up? No. Oh, you stick it up, but it says park. Up here. Stick it hard, big stick, big stick, big stick. The old-fashioned way of doing it would probably be services would just decide what people needed and then they would tell them that this is your service here, you come to us and you come and be done too, so to speak. The difference between an assets approach to engagement and I suppose the old school style of community engagement is it's not about asking what's wrong and telling them you're going to fix it. It's actually about identifying what's gone right and what's there that you can build upon. Through a child's eyes, this is a place of opportunity, of happiness, of play. I'm the treasurer of the group. Basically, we started it up because we thought it was quite important to get a place where young mums can meet other young mums. If people feel that it's been put upon them, it's not going to work. They need to have ownership of it. You feel comfortable, you feel secure because everybody's going through the same thing you are, the sleepless nights or even the temper tantrums or anything. You know for a fact that they've got kids similar to your age and they've been through it all before. If your baby's bumped his head at the weekend or he's not finished his dinner, you can say to the other mums, oh yeah, it's a pain that this is happening. The groups that they have formed is called East Rain Baby Friends and the, the sort of journey that they have been on is that they came through services that were being delivered in the community by East Renfrewshire Council. We supported them through training to help them sort of manage their group, identify funding, how to bring services into the community to work alongside them rather than them having to go to the service. Some of the girls when they start out, they're really, really low in confidence because they've not had a good experience in education or they've not, they've not had a good experience with parents and things like that. So they think that they can't do anything. My confidence shot right up that now I'm the one that's helping other people and I'm the one that's tell, giving other people advice. And to start off, it was me sitting there, all quiet, not knowing what to do. Um, and everybody helped me. And to be honest, if it wasn't for the Young Mums group, I would nowhere be near the mum that I am today at all. It's not just about making earlier services a little bit better. This is about a wholesale change about how we deliver services, how we plan services and who we involve in that process. A lot of the time um, when other professionals work with young parents or young people of any kind of calibre, I suppose, they look at what's going wrong in their lives and try and, um, try and to fix what's wrong. But I suppose when my girls come to my group, it's what they're actually doing right. She makes you want to do more, rather than hold yourself back and do less. Build your confidence if you are a young mum and didn't go to school and dropped out, and it gives you, yeah, OK, I can do this. Just let this do it herself. And that is our line on our Facebook for young mums by young mums. Yeah.